Hi guys, it's Anna. Today I wanted to do a video on my top 5 drugstore brushes for your face. If you hear any noises, we just got a puppy a couple of weeks ago and he is like a child. So every now and then he likes to cry, bark, chew stuff, be really loud. So if you hear that, that's him. That squirt. That squirt! He's eating something. Great. The first brush that I have been loving is by e.l.f. And I honestly don't really remember what it's called because it doesn't even have the name on the brush. And I know there's another brush that they have that looks pretty similar. This is like $6 and you can get it from Walmart. I will post the name of it down below so you know for sure. But I love using this for my foundation. It is so dense so it doesn't like soak up all the liquid and I will zoom in so you can see the bristles better. But some people complained about this saying that it just made their foundation look streaky and it can and it's all about how you apply it. So if I were to just do circular motions, which sometimes I do because it's faster, you will get streaks but then I tend to go back over dotting it over to blend it out. Um, so stippling it, like pressing it into the skin, it just makes it a lot more flawless but I love that it doesn't pick up too much foundation because it is so dense. Another for foundation that I love is also by e.l.f. and it is their e.l.f. powder brush. This one is actually cheaper. It used to be only $3 and now it's like $4 so slowly they're raising their prices which I'm not saying it's not worth the price but it kind of makes me sad because well why do I want to pay more for it? I have purchased a couple of these before when I lost it I used to feel lost without it but it is just a flat top and it is good for full coverage this one again you can either just buff in or stipple and it does give you a full coverage look this, however, does soak up a lot of foundation in between the bristles, so cleaning it out, I have cleaned this, but there's still like foundation stuck in there, so it really soaks in. So you lose some product when you use this, but it does apply your foundation flawlessly. So this is the e.l.f. powder brush. It is also good for powder as well if you want like full coverage powder. So if you want like just a dusting of powder, this would not be good. But for instance, like a powder foundation, this probably would be great as well. Next is this Kabuki brush by Eco Tools, and it is called Sheer Finish Kabuki, and it is a flat top stipple brush. Now, I like this for multiple reasons. Originally, I bought this for my all over face powder, but I honestly, it's rare for me to wear face powder just because I don't. I just don't want to wear face powder because it makes me too matte and sometimes I like my oils to come through. Later. Good boy. So anyways, this is good for like a sheer finish of powder. With that said, it's good for anything you want to go on your face sheer. It is great for really highly pigmented blushes because it won't pick up too much product because the lengths of the bristle are bristles are different. I have also used it for like bronzer because it just gives a nice light touch. So if you're like really heavy handed, this brush will do amazing things for you. up is by Real Techniques and it is their setting brush. I talk about this brush all the time because it is my highlighting brush. He is smelling something. Okay, so this is just really great for powder highlight for uh, I've used it for cream highlight. I've never used it for a liquid highlighter. I'd probably use a sponge or something for a liquid highlight. This might work, but um, for creams and powder, this is just amazing. And honestly, I would love to purchase 
a couple more of these because it is another one that would come in handy for so many other things. Like for setting under your eyes, it would be amazing for a powder. And it would also be, I've seen someone use this as a contour brush and it looked like it did a really great job for that. So this is kind of another brush that you can find lots of uses for. I bought this from Ulta when they were having a buy one, get one free. What? So check Ulta for a deal. Normally it's buy one, get one 50% off, but if you can find that it's buy one, get one free, girl, I'd probably buy two of these <laughs> because they're really good. Like, I'm obsessed with this brush. I use it every day. Every day. It's amazing. I can't. Seriously, get just get this brush because it's amazing. It's amazing. You won't regret it. It also could be good for like if you wanted to just put one color all over your lid to your eyebrow to just set it. Like it's called setting brush. It's just another good multi-use all around brush. Last but not least is another Real Techniques brush, and this is their blush brush. Now, this is great for you heavy-handed people, again, because it is really fluffy. And so, um, like today I used it for, I used Becca's, Jacqueline and Becca's face palette, and I used Pomplum Mousse, and this is such a pigmented blush. Um, so with this, it's easy just to dab the tip in really lightly and really control how much product you're getting on your brush. I've also seen this compared to Benefit's um, newest bronzing brush that looks kind of like this, but it's teal and it has like a gold handle and it looked amazing. And someone was like, these are really similar because it's tapered and it's just light and fluffy. So sometimes I do use this to contour. Um, it blends it out really nicely and it's another good all around brush. At first I wasn't really a big fan of it for blush because I was like this thing is so huge and I normally like more small brushes but if you look at the tip of it, it is pretty small so normally I just go into my blush with the very tip and then kind of brush it on back but this is a really good brush. Um, I love these two Real Techniques brushes. They're probably my favorite. Those are my favorite face drugstore, my top five favorite drugstore um, brushes. And so let me know what yours are down below and maybe I'll check those out. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I did recently get a Snapchat, so if you want to check that out, it is just love of glitter because I couldn't put it. You have to have such a short name and I was like, man, that stinks. But it is what it is. So thanks for watching and subscribing and have a great day.